Hey guys, I'm Dan from Online Labels, and if you're learning how to design, order, or print custom honey labels, this is going to be the last video you have to watch. Behind the scenes of a great honey business, you need product labels for every flavor, warning and compliance labels, and branding assets like thank you stickers and QR codes. But make your labels the wrong way, and your customers will have to deal with a jar that's been ruined by honey spills, if they even reach for it in the first place. So let's make it easy. In five steps, we're going to take you all the way from design to application, and help you turn all of those ideas for your honey labels into a honey label, but a super well-designed, high-quality honey label that's going to hold up against competition and boost your branding as well. Let's take a look. The first thing you're going to want to do is measure your jars, or whatever container you're working with. This is crucial for any container from regular jars to tubs and honey bears too. To get exact measurements, use a printable ruler. All you have to do is print it, cut it out, and wrap it around your products. It makes it a lot easier to get exact measurements on curved or irregular containers. Then take your measurement to onlinelabels.com and find the size and shape that works for you. For standard jars, ovals give you the cleanest visual and the most room to design on. Hexagons are a popular shape in the honey industry too. Circle labels are great for lids too, if you want to add a logo graphic on the top of your jar or showcase the flavor. You can use all kinds of different sizes for different products. If you're selling anything like beeswax candles, lip balm, or honeycomb, all you have to do is measure your products and then you can find your perfect shape online. Next, you're going to be choosing your material. With honey products, it's wise to avoid anything paper-based, where stickiness and spills can ruin your designs. Instead, you'll want to stick with a film-based material like BOP or one of our weatherproof options. This way your labels will stay strong and look professional and clear through shipping damage, moisture, wear and tear, and more. Step 3 is hopping into Maestro Label Designer and designing our labels. You can start with a blank or pre-designed label template. We have a ton of honey templates that'll give you a really solid starting point for your design and save you some groundwork. Once you're in Maestro Label Designer, you can personalize your design and tweak it until it's perfect. You'll have access to all of our fonts, clip art, design tools, and more. You you can upload your own files here to include your logo, your background, and your other assets too. Try using the multi-design tool. You can use half of your sheet to make labels for the back side of your jars too. Sometimes it's better to include more logistical stuff on the back to save the front for eye-catching graphics and branding. Speaking of logistical stuff, always check your local requirements for food labeling if you haven't done that already. Check out the article linked in the description. But including even more details like where your honey was sourced from, the flavor, the ingredients, if it's raw or all natural or has no added sweeteners, those are all points that'll give your customers more to connect to. Use the space on your label wisely to communicate what makes your product unique. But don't overcrowd your design with too many graphics and fonts. Negative space is your best friend for an eye-catching design. Don't overuse color either. Usually a simple black and white or something with a limited color palette is best. Obviously shades of yellow, gold, and orange are really popular with honey. Also, your label might end up being smaller than you expect, so don't use fonts that are too thin or small to show up. Always double check for typos and make sure your design looks perfect before saving. Then it's time to either order your labels custom printed or print them yourself at home. If you don't know which method is right for you yet, we have a video that might help you decide, but it really just depends on your workflow. If you're printing at home, you'll need to order label sheets in your size and material for your printer. Either way, once your sheets come in the mail, which should just take a few days, you're ready to apply. And that's step number five, finally applying your labels to your products. Before labeling anything, wash your hands and wipe down your items in workspace with some soap and water. The oil from our fingertips and even just a little bit of dust can really get in the way of your label sticking. And you definitely need to avoid honey getting near anything. Make sure you're labeling after filling your containers with any hot products or anything that could melt the adhesive or get in the way. Consider your label the cherry on top and add it last. Sometimes smooth containers are hard for labels to stick to, so you can use sandpaper to add some surface tension. Then it's time to carefully peel a label off of your sheet. Size up your label and get your product ready. Make sure your placement is exact, everything looks good, and that you're going right in the center. Once you're feeling confident, stick the middle of your design down first, and then work your way outward with circular motions going out to the edges. This is where you press out the little air bubbles. This technique is the best way, hands down, to label by hand. You can use this for lid decorations, packaging labels, and extra stickers too. At OnlineLabels.com, you can work through all of the steps we mentioned to create your perfect label. You'll also have business tools, articles, FAQs, and much more. And right here on the channel, we're always talking about business tips, putting out label tutorials, and trying to make your life as a labeler easier. So subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.